Jenny. Jenny, are we ready? I don't know who Jenny is. Okay. I'm not bothered. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, hi, my name's Amanda. I'm actually a criminologist, but I absolutely adore makeup and uh, we do unboxings and we do hauls and we do a little bit of makeup and a little bit of crime here as well. But anyway, thank you for coming and watching today. And today we have something special to do. So here's me boasting in one of my most recent videos saying how up to date I am and I have no more boxes to do and I'm waiting for the next batch and then I realized that I actually had a babe box and I've had another one turn up. So I don't know which is which. I assume we've got January and February here um, and I thought I'd done them. So anyway, let's open them up and have a look. So looking in here, it appears to be that I have the January and the February boxes to do. It's almost March. Um, and this one only arrived yesterday. So maybe this one was slightly delayed, probably because of Christmas and everything. So we have two to do. I will do the one that says, welcome 2021 on it. So we'll start there and let's have a look at what we've got there. As always, the first thing we get is our little card that's in the box. So it literally does not say on here anywhere that it's January, but with the 2021 and this um, and the celebrate and everything, I'm just going to assume it is. Oh, puppies already here. <laughs> They're about to ruin the, the tape again. Um, but anyway, we will put this up here. The total value of this box is $107. So let's have a look at what's in there. Looks pretty good. There's some products in here. I'm really keen to see if daughter behind the camera doesn't steal them and daughter behind the camera is here today. Do you want to say hello to the camera? Just ah. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah, this is why I need makeup and lots of wrinkle cream. Look at my eyes today. I am, I haven't slept all week, but anyway, I digress once again. So oh, I haven't even opened it. <laughs> so let's open. Oh, okay. Oh, it's enough. Oh, as I said, uh, Bait Box is one of my favourites. And <laughs> what was that in English? Can you? <laughs> you're rocking the table. She's so excited because she can't see it. Okay, let's let's hide it from her. <laughs> so we have a very full box as we normally do. So let's see what it is here this looks like it's going to be another little towel thing we often get um uh, we've had a couple of hair wraps come and things like that and um all of them i think we've got four or five hair wraps over the last 12 months and all of them are missing because yeah she's laughing because she's embarrassed <laughs> so this is from babe cosmetics they often put something that is um branded to themselves as we can see there's a little bit of writing there already it is an oh my god babe headband so this is perfect for keeping your hair out of your face um as you can see i slick mine back pretty hardcore so it doesn't matter the hands are already out and i haven't even had time to do the cuteness this is 12 dollars. so i just looked at my um my subscription list of boxes to tell you how much this box costs and this is the only one that's not on the list so i think it's around 40 us so this is a $12 headband and seeing it's mauve and I'm wearing purple today. It's now covered in makeup. <laughs> Maybe I should do the whole rest of my recordings like this. What do we reckon? So <laughs> I've got bluff on my cheeks too now. Um, so this, um, I actually have a, a silk one of these that I got with um, my, I have a silk pillowcase and I have a silk um, night thing as well. Yes, I'm a bit high maintenance for sleep because as you can see, I don't get any, um, but I actually have a silk one of these. I use it every night to hold my hair back so I can then do my double cleanse. If you don't double cleanse, um, you really should, you do an oil cleanse and then you do a soap cleanse. I find it works a lot better. I've still got fluff on me from this. But anyway, this is super, super cute. I will see it for about an extra 10 minutes until I do the box reveal at the end and then I won't see it again, but really loving that. Next, we have an Illuminati cosmetic sponge. Um, our dog's name's Illuminati because she has a little triangle on her forehead. So anyway, that's cute. So simply wet, squeeze uh, and bounce your way to streak-free makeup perfection. I'm still learning. Actually, let's, let's see if we can get it up a bit cuter. Um, I'm still learning about these. I use it for like, like just the corner of my eyes and stuff, but I'm not loving it for like a full face. 
Um, so I don't think I'll get to see that either. So, so far two for two, my daughter has stolen, but we shall continue. There may be something in here I get to keep. Next, we have a lipstick. So this is from, oh, sorry, go back. And the price of this is the Illuminati Cosmetic Sponge is $21 US. You can get Morphe ones for like $8 and they do pretty good. So I don't think that's a great price, but we will try it. If that's something that absolutely overwhelms my daughter, I shall let you know that it's the best one she's used. She's already nodding behind the camera, so she probably has a few of them already. But our next product is a Laritzi Cream Lipstick. So we've got a little bit of a, can you see that on there? It's quite pretty. So we have formulated with shea butter. This lipstick is ultra hydrating and comfortable to wear. So beautiful plain black Thing. Oh, yes, we have the little Laritzi. If we can get it on camera without all the lights shown. Anyway, it says Laritzi, like the box did. Oh, why aren't all lipsticks like this? This is a twist when it didn't pull. I've got one that you sort of have to press a button on and it opens, but this one I could tell this wasn't coming open. Why aren't they all screw lids? Do you know how many times I've ruined lipsticks because they've been in my handbag and, and the lids have come off? And then we go into the actual stick and we go, oh my God, that is amazing. So this is a beautiful, um, almost a rosy mauve, or almost it's both, oh, ignore my nail polish. I was biting my nails last night. So let's have a bit of a swatch of this one because that might mean I get to keep it. <laughs> but I don't think so where my daughter sees the colour. So yeah. <laughs> She's got a mouth open. So this is a really, really lovely. Um, it's on, on camera, it looks a bit more muted, but it's actually quite nice. So it's actually a lot deeper than the actual um, uh, swatch I've done there, but it is absolutely stunningly beautiful. And I'm really happy with that. Maybe one I have to actually fight her for, especially with the screw lids. That, that alone is worth it. Um, $20 US. So I might actually invest in this brand and have a look because that goes on well, feels well, and they have the ingenious cap on that. So what else do we have? Okay, some banana setting powder from, let's see if we can work it out off here, from Bella Pierre. So I should have known when it said BP in the center. I like Bella Pierre. We have a couple of their products. Um, so this is a colour correcting setting powder. It retails for $35. So this alone basically pays for the whole kit. So um, it is a banana powder. I'm still undecided about banana powder. I use it sometimes purely because I have about 15 different setting powders and it's just one of the ones I pick up. But um, yes, that is quite lovely. So we won't take it out because I'm already covered in powder from doing my makeup <laughs> 10 minutes ago. But this is absolutely divine and I'm... Um, quite happy with that one daughter's not sort of pulling faces so i'm <laughs> yeah she's going nah so i will get to keep that one and we have one sorry I'm too pale. she's too pale <laughs> yeah you think I, and this look yellow on me this against her would look orange probably because she is very very pale and she started a whole i will call it goth look but there's <laughs> emos and whatever you want to call them e-girl um so we've got the black lipstick and the black eyeliner and the black um uh, eye, eye shadows and everything going now. So it's all black. So a yellow face paint, a yellow <laughs> face powder is not going to help. And our final little product is from Lord and Berry. Oh, no, I don't know. This is in a very light pearlescent. So we're Lord and Berry strong highlighter pencil. So a pink toned highlighter that adds a subtle glow. Formulate to light up any makeup look. This versatile pencil is perfect for precise application to highlight the face. Like in the corners. Yeah, I've got lots on today. I did my makeup about 15 times today. It just didn't work. And then I added some um, sparkle to it and it just looked really, really wrong. So I've gone back to sort of a, it's purple, but it's pink. And then we've got a little bit of orange and gold on it as well, just to sort of give like a sunrise color. But my eyes look terrible. So anyway, I'm looking at myself and not at that. So let's, um, we'll do a bit of a swatch. It's rose gold, not so. I oh, can you just see when? Yeah, see right there. So it's one of those pearlescent colors that does move with the with the light. So that would catch things if, if you could probably sort of rub a bit in here. As you can see, my nose is a bit shiny today. Um, you know, along here as well may work. But 
It's a different set of product. It's called strobing highlighter pencil. So there it is. So let's put this all back into the box, make it look pretty. And then we'll do the second box. Uh, this is price was $19. So in total, that was $107. So now let's put it all back into the box and we'll see how it looks all pretty before I never see it all again. So <laughs> hang on. So there we go. So that's everything from the January box. As I said, I'm a bit late. I didn't realize I actually had two boxes to do. So we have this. Um, the reason I love this box the most is because it is makeup heavy and I prefer it to be makeup heavy. It's not always going to be my colors. It's not always going to be my daughter's colors, but um, I would prefer that and have things to try rather than another face mask, another face cleaner. Like we have three massive trolleys full of cleansers and oils and all of that in my eyes still look like this but anyway so that's our january box it's worth 107 dollars. we get we pay about i'm pretty sure it's about 39 maybe 40 dollars for it. i'm not quite sure it was one that sort of popped up on my facebook of course um because i subscribe to others and i like those pages and so you sort of get um you get sent those sort of advertisements the first one was free and then um you continue subscription if you don't decide to continue your subscription you actually have to pay for that first box and that's fair enough they can't go away and give things away because people change addresses and stuff like that and they just keep getting freebie stuff and companies can't can't uh survive doing that so anyway um babe box is one of my favorites so we're halfway through this video we have a whole nother one to do and i cannot wait because as i said this is my favorite so then we have our february box to do this has only just arrived so we will get out our little pamphlet now this one says it's worth 197 dollars, so it's worth double what the last box was um so we will see but i don't know 197 dollars. i don't think so but we will check anyway let's open it um my daughter did sort of have a sneak peek whilst i was recording the other one so it is open already makeup heavy again so let's have a look what's in there now the first product we have is bubble wrapped and it looks a little bit powdery in here yet we have lost one um we have had things from this illuminati brand um i we just had a lipstick i think from oh we just had a sponge from the illuminati brand in the january box um this seems to happen each time but i know how to repot them so i will try and keep as much into that as i can but yeah we seem to always lose one I, oh going everywhere just try and keep it in one spot so i can get it back in so this is a quad palette in saint which is the color thing it is blue it's absolutely gorgeous i will open it before i show it to you i just don't want to get covered in all of this but it's a bit too late now okay so we can't see too well as you can see we're, we've lost this really pretty silver shimmer but um, we have a beautiful uh, quad in blue. I have a couple of blue eyeshadows. I'm trying to branch out, um, but I haven't done it yet. I did purple this week at work um, and it was okay, but blue, I'm, I'm, I'll get there, I'll get there. But anyway, so this is, it's very, very pretty. As you can see, it sparkles everywhere. I'm not gonna swatch it because it is mixed up and I am going to try and save as much of this as I can. There's powder everywhere, but I'm pretty sure I can pot it. The last one we got like this was a highlighter quad and um, it also lost one. And I think it was a, a shimmery one for that as well. So I really think it's just about the traveling. I don't blame the company that they've packed it as well as they can. There's bubble wrap and everything around it but I will try and repot that. So I'm not gonna sort of play with it too much because you know, like my fingers are already covered, but it is quite lovely. And so we continue to see what else we've got. It's pretty eyeshadow there, <laughs> look, I'm covered in it. Let's see what else we have. So our next product is Give Them La La Beauty. So it looks like maybe a mascara. So let's have a look. No, it's not. <laughs> my daughter's uh, interest is peaked she was on her phone now she's looking up again so we have give them beauty lala and it looks like it is a lip gloss so this is in rules so let's have a look oh it's a bit um candy let's have a look we're doing a little swatch without okay we'll probably go over the stuff i've got on now so let's give it a try people What do you think? Yep, 
like that one. So it's not as, um, it's very sort of tropical watermelon here, but it's actually quite not on your lips. Granted, I've just put it over a darker color lipstick, but I think that is quite nice. So anyway, that's another one. So that's two products down. That lipstick is $16 US. So our next product is Avant. So let's have a look at that up close. So it is a glycolic Mika. So it's a, a shea butter. Okay. Um, now, according to this card, this is $123. This is $123. Can you Google that for me? It is Avant Glycol Mica Arginine Urea Shea Butter Age Nutri Revive Intensive Redef Intensive Redesensifying Glycol Acid Daily Moisturizer. $123. $123. It better make me a cup of coffee. Now I have silver eyeshadow all over my hands, and this is about to look very, very pretty. I'll use my pinky, it has, has the least amount on it. So, daughter has checked this out on Google. And the one that you are holding is $123. For 50 mils, or is this a sample? 50 mils, or 1.69 water ounces. Okay, so this is probably not one I'll chuck into the bottom of my handbag. This may be one that I put on at night time. $123. Um, I like a lot of the event products. I actually have one that I can't use. It sort of stung my face a bit. But um, I don't... I... You know, I like to go... Well, not cheap. I don't say cheap because I use a lot of expensive products, but I do buy them at half price. So... It's fantastic that this is in in the box, but $123, it's um it's a bit too fancy for my liking. I, I, but if it works miracles, maybe I should put it on my wrinkles tonight because they're looking absolutely dreadful. So $123. Anyway, let's see what else is in there. Okay, our next product is from Floss Beauty. This is a highlighter in Sunbeam. So I don't, oh, yes. I have a new stick. Well, actually it's an old stick, but my rose gold one broke. So I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. So let's open up this. Let's have, oh, sorry, I should show you the box, which is not as exciting as the contents. It fills up the whole thing. We know mum's happy when that happens. Ooh, pretty. So this, I would call it a caramel. So there we go. This is a highlighter in sunbeam, I guess. So I'll, I would expect it to be a bit darker, like a bit more goldy for it to be a sunbeam, you know, like the sun. But anyway, we shall give it a go. I'll do it on this hand now. Oh, it's cold, like it's creamy. Yeah, that's pretty. What do you think, guys? Yep. My audience here is giving me the nod. She thinks I'm talking to her, but I'm actually talking to you guys. But she, she'll she pipe in anyway, because it means that she'll probably get it. Yes, I give my daughter a lot of stuff. You don't need to tell me. Believe me, I know. One more. We have one more product. And this will be a babe brand. Yes, it is. They always have something that's their brand. So we have a cucumber hydrating face mask. Um, so that will be a okay. She's doing this on the front. So this will be added to the beauty fridge for um, an, a Sunday night. So I think that is quite lovely. I have used some of theirs and it is quite nice. It's one of those that you don't rinse off. You actually just leave it on and it continues to do its thing and it will just be lovely. So I've used such some of the Bay Box brand um, eye things, uh, you know, like the under eye things and, and a couple of face masks and I'm really happy with them. So um, I'm happy to get own brand stuff in these products because Babe is a cosmetics brand. So let's put it all back in. I should probably give you a price of this first. So this is an $18 mask. So there you go. So let's put it all back into its box and see what we think of this one. And then we'll actually, we might even compare the two boxes and see which one we prefer. Smart thinking 99. 99. Did you hear that? My daughter goes 99. So I'm really showing my age that she doesn't know who 99 is. So, um, do you know Get Smart, the TV show? 
Okay. <laughs> I will show her get smart. Do you know Inspector Gadget? No. <laughs> okay. I haven't even seen Kim Possible. I know what it is, but I've never seen it. I will have to explain who 99 is to her and that Maxwell Smart is actually 86. And we don't actually find out 99's name until the very last episode. And I couldn't tell you, and I couldn't tell you what it is. So this is our two, oh, where's my lipstick? I lost my lipstick. So this is our $200 box. So this cost me the same price as the January box, but it was worth double basically. So love it all. Yes, the um, the Illuminati eyeshadow did break, but it's coming from America. It's gonna happen. It seems to happen every time with this box though. And we get a lot of makeup from America that doesn't happen, but um, it happens. So we shall get the other box back out now and compare the two to see which one we prefer. So here's our two boxes. And I have to say, I think I'm liking the January one more. I like the hair tie. Yeah, your daughter behind the camera said the same thing. Um, I'm still happy with both of them. And I think between the two of them, we'll both sort of get a favourites box out of them. I think we're both going to be fighting over their uh, hair tie. And though I got my makeup all over it, I think I should have to have it now. <laughs> She's sulking. But anyway, that is another set of unboxings. I have three more to do today. So hold tight. There is a lot to catch up on. But yeah, Babe Box absolutely still remains one of my favourites up there with single swag. So what do you think, guys? What, what is your favourite out of these two boxes? And is there a way that you would make your own box out of these two and sort of do a pick and choose? So let me know. Comments down below. I would love to hear your theories. Um, I'm getting a fair few comments on the videos now and I'm absolutely loving them. And I'm, can, and I'm trying to answer all of them and I'm doing pretty good so far. So keep them coming and keep watching. So there you go. The two bay boxes. This is January and February 2021. So if you got this far in the video, I would like to say thank you very much. It was two boxes, so it was a bit crazy. This time it's usually one box and I have three more boxes to do today. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for having some fun with me and my daughter and uh, broken lipsticks, <laughs> broken eyeshadows and all sorts of stuff that's happening. It's always wild and crazy here. And this is why I'm one of the happiest mums on earth, if you ask me. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you give me a comment down below and I hope to see you at the next video. Bye.